All right, you guys, so let's check out how to create chisel bevel chrome text with glow here in Blender and Illustrator. All right, so I'm going to start in Illustrator and I'm going to go with this text as a reference and I'm going to change up the color to some gray. Let's go to 3D materials and I'm going to go to extrude, decrease the depth to zero. Let's scroll down and I'm going to position the X, Y, Z to zero, zero and zero. All right, so let's go up and here we got the bevel. Let's activate the bevel and I'm going to go with bevel classic. Here we can increase the depth. I'm going to go all the way down. So it's going to create this really good looking chisel text effect. And now I'm going to go to asset export. If you don't have it, you can go to the windows and select asset export. And here I'm going to need to drag and drop the text into the asset export. Make sure that you can export it in OBJ. Click on export. And from here, I'm going to go to Blender. And first, I'm going to go to the folder with the OBJ file, drag and drop into Blender. Click on import. And I'm going to go to the rotation and bring it down to zero. I'm also going to add a plane, press shift plus A, go to mesh, select plane, press the letter S, scale it. And I'm going to select the text and bring it up a little bit more. And let's go to render. I'm going to change it to cycles, CPU to GPU, max sampling to 60. Let's go to shading and I'm going to go to the world. Let's go to color and change it to environment texture. Let's go to object, change it to world. Here I'm going to add an HDRI, click on open and I'm going to go with this one. I'm also going to leave a link in the description where you can download these kind of HDRIs. Click on open and I'm going to activate the viewport shading. I'm also going to add some mapping, press shift plus A, type in mapping and a texture coordinate. Connect generated to vector, vector to vector. And here you can rotate the XYZ HDRI. I'm going to try it out like this. And let's go ahead and switch it to object. Make sure that you're on the text. And now I'm going to go here to the material and make sure to remove all the materials here. Click on the minus and remove all of it. And I'm going to click on delete to every each. Click on new here. And I'm going to increase the metallic all the way up and decrease the roughness. I'm going to go low. I'm also going to add a color ramp, press shift plus A, color to color. And here you can increase the contrast, make it more darker or lighter. I'm also going to select the plane and I'm going to need to add some texture. Click on the new and I'm going to add an image texture, connect the color to base color, click on open and I'm going to go with this image. You also can modify the image how you did with the HDRI. You can add mapping and a texture coordinate, connect them. And here you can change up the location, the rotation and the scale as well. So let's do that. You also can stretch it. All right, so I also gonna need to add some glow. And for that, I'm gonna go to compositing. Make sure to check use nodes, press the letter N. Let's go down to the corner and split the editor. And I'm gonna change this up and make sure that you're on 3D viewport. Let's scroll here, select viewport shading. And let's go and click on this arrow and let's select always. There you go. And let's go to compositing, press shift plus A, and let's search for glare. Enter, and let's place it in between these two nodes. And check this out, it is going to add these really cool sparkles. You also can modify the medium. I'm gonna set to low, so the sparkles are gonna be bigger. And you also can go to the angle and rotate it. Let's go to mix, bring it down a little. I'm also gonna go here to change this up to shader editor, and I'm gonna go and change it to world. So if you rotate the HDRI, it is going to change the position of the sparkle as well. And check this out. Oh, wow. I'm going to increase this to medium and I'm going to add another glare. Press shift plus a glare and I'm going to position this right here and I'm going to change up the strikes, select the blue and it's going to add some more glow. Modify the threshold and all you need to do is just tweak it as much as you want to get the best sparkles out there. Yeah, pretty much that's how you make this chiseled chrome text with glare here in Blender and Illustrator. Thanks for watching.